Hello class, this is section 3.3 and in this video we are going to work through an example where the characteristic equation is has complex roots. So we have this differential equation and we make our usual substitution y equals erx and we obtain the characteristic polynomial r squared minus 4r plus 13 equals 0. We use the quadratic formula to determine the roots of this polynomial we have r equals 4 plus minus 16 minus 52 over 2, which is just going to be equal to 2 plus or minus 3i, where i is the square root of negative 1. So our two solutions are going to be y1 and y2, e2 plus 3i x, and e to minus 3ix. We can rewrite this as e to the 2x times e to the 3ix. And this can in turn can be written down because e3ix is cosine 3i, 3x plus i sine 3x as e2x cosine 3x plus i times e2x sine 3x and in the same way this other solution can be written down as e2x cosine 3x minus i e2x sine 3x so again um, these are perfectly valid solutions but we always want real solutions when we have a real differential equation so let's instead um, rewrite this as y1 equals e2x cosine 3x, y2 as e2x sine 3x. So as we discussed in class, if um, a plus ib is a root, is a, is a solution to the differential equation, then both a and b are also roots solutions of the differential equation. So these are our two linearly independent solutions. And our general solution is going to be y equals c1 e2x cosine 3x plus c2 e2x sine 3x for our two arbitrary constants c1 and c2.